Hello, my name is Navigator, and in today's video, I kind of wanted to do something fun. Really? You really gonna interrupt me? Every time. <laughs> Anyways, uh, in today's video, I wanted to go over um, some of the most unused and unusual weapons in the game. Um, I've uh, picked some from my, my pool of, you know, weapon plans and stuff, just ones that, uh, personally, I don't even think I've ever gotten a kill with. Uh, let alone think about running with. So, uh, I have actually a bunch of them. I'm going to uh, show them off here in a second. Um, but, uh, yeah, actually that second is going to be right now. So, I don't know what I was talking about. Anyways, the first one on the list, um, and I want to say first off, I reached my custom name limit. So, I'm kind of fucked here. And I can't come up with my usual cool navigator names for weapons. But, I did end up coming up with a cool name for this one. And this is a bladed tire iron. I decided to name this the Blight Reaper, because it reminded me of uh, a scythe, and I figured that would be, uh, you know, similar to how this looks, so I threw that on there. I got this, uh, this legendary drop from the pit, and this weapon actually kind of gave me the idea to do this video. Um, so yeah, this is a uh, anti-armor, 40% uh, more power attack damage, plus one endurance tire iron. So we're going to see how that does with the uh, the bladed mod on it pretty soon. Um, next up on the list, what I have is, let's see, I got so many. Oh yeah, next up we have a Gourmand's Shocking Baton. So I didn't have a lot of uh, legendary modules. I literally like just barely got all of these legendaryified or whatever the fucking, uh, whatever the word is for that. Um, but I, I ended up getting a swing speed on this one for my first attempt. And uh, this is the baton. So uh, this is a weapon that I, like, I think you find them at the uh, the prison, and then that's about it. I, don't re I never really thought about using this, um, but it looks like the six stick from, uh, what is it, Kick-Ass, but honestly, I mean, it looks like a fucking police baton, so. Uh, anyways, moving on, next up is the lead pipe. So, uh, I should have said this earlier, I I'm just going to start with these weapons in general. I mean, this is a fucking lead pipe. It's literally just a piece of metal. Looks like it has a grip on it, if you can see there. There's a grip there on the back, and I have the uh, the spiked mod on this, so it's got a nice little mace kind of thing there, a morning star thing at the end there. And this is a, uh, what is it, instigating 40% more power attack damage, 25% less VATS action point cost, lead pipes. This is actually prefer a fairly decent roll, and this, uh, this might actually do us well out there when we end up uh, using these in just a second. So, next up, I have a rolling pin, a junkie's rolling pin, in fact, and uh, I got, you know, power attack damage on this, so we'll, we'll try it out and see how that goes, but again, I didn't really have a lot of options with rolling my weapons today. So I have the spiked mod on this, as well as the, uh, the chef's mod. Um, I guess I should say that the, uh, what should I, sorry, the tire iron, um, the police baton, the lead pipe, the rolling pin, and uh, what other, well, I'll just get them to a second, but a couple other ones um, have modifications on them, but some of them do not, or the modifications for them are a little bit difficult to obtain, so I'll get to that in a second, but the next one on the list we have is the mutant's walking cane, and this is in fact one of those weapons where the plans are pretty hard to get, so uh, I, I couldn't come up with them in the matter of a day, and I was like, fuck it, so we're just going to go uh, bare bones on this, and uh, the roll I got on this one wasn't too bad, it looks like a foragers fighting a wolf in there. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I got limb damage, and uh, I do have mutations, so uh, a little damage boost is uh, not that bad. I don't really think I'll find a use for that critical meter effect, though. So, uh, the last... No, we still got a couple more. Uh, next here, we have the paddle ball. Uh, I definitely don't have any of the modifications for this, so we're going to see how this rocks. Um, I got some paddle ball... Sorry, paddle balls from uh, Camden Park. So I got plenty of ammunition. This will, will be our only uh, uh, weapon that requires some kind of ammunition in this entire thing. So this is, I guess, uh, our gun for this run. Um, but yeah, moving on. Next up, I have the protest sign, Ain't Akami. And uh, I went to the Miner's Monument, and I picked up a whole bunch of these, but I figured that this was actually <laughs> the funniest one. I think it's pretty humorous. Uh, I know it's sideways, um, but it reads, I ain't a commie, but I get where they're coming from, with an exclamation point. And I just yeah, my girlfriend's laughing at it, too. I thought that was pretty funny, so I figured I'd use this one. Um, 
I d don't have any modifications for it. I don't even know if there's modifications for the protest signs. Uh, all I have is a level 1, so this is uh, probably going to be the worst weapon we have, but in my opinion, this will be the most enjoyable to use. So, next up on the list, we have a... Oh, not the rolling pin. That's a leftover one. Um, should be... Yes, here we are. The pool cue. Now, when I first brought this idea, or like, you know, kind of displaying this in this video, I was like, alright, this is going to be a boring one, uh, I have never don't really know too much about this weapon, I didn't really think it was that cool, but when I figured out that you could put this sharp mod on it, I had no idea that was even a thing, it's like a makeshift Rambo war glaive almost, so, uh, I'm thankful this is the last weapon, it's got limb damage on it, and uh, what is it, vampires as well, so uh, hopefully you got a nice show of that, because I am getting my ass eaten by a fucking wolf here. So I'm going to shred him with the new auto axe. Good doggy. Um, and we're going to go over here to my perk setup. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Morgantown Airport because of the uh, the nearby train station. And that way I can easily switch over from my one-handed to my uh, two-handed melee build. I think there's one weapon that I'm going to be using the two-handed for. But it is the protest sign, so it will be worth it. Um, I'm not going to go over the perks, really. Uh, I have a video on my melee build. Um, literally everything out here isn't really too important. All I'm really working with here is a gladiator and master gladiator. So we're going to switch those out uh, for, what is it, slugger, when we're using the protest sign. Anyways, it's been too long already. Let's get this over with. Make sure I got all the right stuff on. I do. Let's head to Morgantown Airport. Not over encumbered, so uh, we should be okay. I'm going to go to the station, actually. I think that, I mean, you fast travel to one, you're going to be in the same spot anyways. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. So, Good thing I have the Series X, and uh, you guys don't have to wait too long for me to load in. So, here we are at Morgantown Airport. Um, and, um, I have my sensitivity down, so the bitrate is a little bit better. But we're going to start here with the Blight Reaper. So I'm going to get like two, three kills if I can. Uh, I may be, sorry, maybe somebody's been here already. I haven't really scouted it out, but we can find other locations if need be. Um, here we go. So... This is, what is it, limb damage and, and uh, power attack. So we're going to try to use the power attack with this. Let's try getting one kill without using the power attack. Oh, wow, that was like three hits. I'm going to throw my HUD on real quick so I, you guys can see the damage that this is doing. Um, I turned my HUD off just so you guys can get a full picture. Um, but yeah, so let's see. One, two... Three. That's not bad for this. This is pretty sweet. Let's try the power attack damage. Wow, that took like a good third of the health. Alright, so two power attack, and let's see if one hit will do it. Yeah. So two power attacks, I mean, honestly. What's the point? It's th three hits normally, and then three hits with the power attack. So, alright, well, I guess we figured that out. It's, this weapon isn't as great as I thought it'd be, but it kills pretty quick. So, next up, let's try out the, uh, what is this? The police baton. This this one should be fun. Um, I got swing speed on this, so... I'm hitting. This is moving pretty fast, honestly. Sorry, I have my sensitivity down, like I said, so I'm moving slow. But this thing is honestly chopping them to pieces. Let's see, the electrified mod seems to be working pretty well, too. One, two, also three, but that initial hit... That initial hit... I don't have instigating on here, do I? No. That initial hit just took a huge chunk out of him. So, Alright, so... That's the police baton. I'm gonna try to get one more kill with this, because this is actually pretty satisfying. It has a nice, like, thwap when you hit him, so... It's very satisfying. Three kills... Same as the tire iron. Um, let's try the lead pipe now. So, uh, let's try it. Wow! So this, the lead pipe, the most unsuspecting weapon is so far the best one that we have here on display. So, I'll try to get one or two more kills with this so we can really see what it does. Uh, oh, wow. That person did uh, not have a good day on uh, Halloween of 2077. Um, yeah, let's keep, uh, let's keep moving. Man, maybe not Halloween. What was it, the 30th, 29th the bombs dropped? I don't know. Get fucked with the lead pipe. Yeah, this is great. Oh my gosh, what do I have on this again? Oh, that makes sense, the instigating. But the power attack damage, not bad. Let's get, try to get one more kill with the power attack damage. Are there any scorched 
moseying around over here in the back. Doesn't look like it. Um, let's try to sprint. Oh, there's a camp over there in the distance. I can see the uh, Brotherhood Tower. So maybe somebody was here, but uh, let's see. Knock, knock. Anybody home? Anybody home? Nobody at all. I'm getting stuck on shit here. Really, no enemies here. Are you kidding me? That's so unusual, man. They're usually so eager to start shooting at me. Fuckers. Alright, um, let's see what else we can do. Let's try the train yard. There's bound to be, uh, bound to be people there. And honestly, fuck going to the, um, the train station. I mean, it's not like the fucking protest sign is gonna do that much of a difference. I'm really just in this to, uh, have fun with these weapons. So, let's see if there's any scorch, maybe some ghouls here, um... Should be yeah. There should be a fresh batch of them. Let's try out this power attack damage. Oh, he got the first punch. Wow! One hitting scorch, man. My lever action one hit scorch. This is crazy. Oh, almost had him with that. All right. Well, that explosion did a number. Looks like he's gonna be going down here pretty soon. I'm just having too much fun with this. I'm gonna kill the enemies. All right. Let's try out the rolling pin. Um, again, I have power attack damage on this, so let's try some power attacks with this. Um, there's the fusion flea. Huh. I have that stash box, actually. Yeah, there should be some motherfuckers in here. There's one. Alright. Let's uh, see how Granny's baking holds up. Uh, what was that? Three, four hits? I think four. So that's not really looking too great. Let's try the power attack damage on this, though. Where's one of these little gremlins? Oh, wow. That's not bad. All right, so with a power attack, it takes almost 75, if not 80% of their health away. So let's try a power attack. Oh, maybe, maybe two. And then a normal hit. Wow, not even... Okay, maybe that was tenderizer work in there, but, um... So, wow, two power attack... For, wow, oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to switch to the next weapon. So uh, I don't have to fast travel to another place. But this is the walking cane here. Let's try this out. I look like Mr. Magoo. My eye patch on. Thwap. 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 Oh my god, I'm missing. Get away from my grandson. Uh, this is a limb damage. Okay, and I have a little increased damage from my mutations too. So... Get away from my grandson! Stop trying to steal my purse, you miscreant! Man, no wonder fucking grandmas hold this shit. It's doing no damage, bro. The fuck? Alright, well, let's try a power attack with this, then. Nothing. Okay, well, that's that's the walking cane. There you go. I think y'all get the idea. I'm not gonna waste my time with that. Um, I am gonna waste my time with this, however. I'm looking at his damage. I'm, I'm sure you guys are too. And I don't know if you can see that. This is unbelievable. Unprecedented. But this is doing almost zero damage. If you can see my markers there. Oh. Oh, I hit a... Wait, let's see if I can hit a critical on him. Oh, I don't think I can. <laughs> hit criticals with the paddle ball. Wait, let me see if I can build up my... Critical meter in here. Okay, hold on. I'm going to build up my critical meter and try to get a critical with the paddle ball and see what it does. Alright, there's my critical meter. There. There we go. <laughs> it was like maybe like two damage. That's great. I wasted fucking 60 Camden Park tokens for that. Honestly, that was the most fun I had with any of the weapons aside from the lead pipe, so... Um, I'm going to save the rolling pin for last, actually. Let's try the pool queue out. I'm very excited for this. This thing looks fucking awesome. Uh, Alright, let's see. So, I think this is power attack damage, too. Oh, limb damage. Okay, alright, let's try this out, then. Oh, wow, this is kind of moving. You know what would be really good on this would be swing speed. Swing speed would be great on this. I swear there was another guy shooting at me. Was it? Yeah, there he is. Swing speed would be awesome on this. That's half health right there. Oh my gosh. Crushed. Alright. This is definitely one of my new favorite weapons, I would say. The blade... What is it? The sharp pool cue. This thing is fucking awesome. It's like a better war glaive, I feel like. Huh. Um, Alright, let's try our 
final weapon here, the Ain't Akami Protest Sign. And just so you guys know, this is doing a nice 21 damage at level 1. So, um, fuck it, I'm going to go to a totally new place so we can finish this off. Let's try, uh, fuck it, let's go to Wilson Brothers Auto Repair. I know there's some motherfuckers there. Right, baby? Right. That's right. Okay. There's got to be somebody here. Right? Some kind of enemy or something. Oh, yeah, look at him right here. Fucking posing like Madonna. Get fucked. Alright, I'm not seeing how much damage. Eight. I'm doing eight damage with this. Unbelievable. I wonder how much damage it would do if I had my perks on. Probably like nine. This isn't doing shit. Let's try a power attack. With the wrath of the First Amendment! I don't Wait, what, what fucking amendment is the right to protest? I don't know. I gotta read up on that shit. But, uh, yeah, take the wrath of agreeing with communism. Chairman Mao. What is it? What does fucking Liberty say? Prime say? Chairman Mao is a dickhead. Something like that. I don't know. Alright, well, you guys get the fucking picture here. I'm sick of this. I'm rolling these motherfuckers up like fucking... What do you roll up? I'm rolling these motherfuckers up like a fruit roll up. There we go. Adios. Have fun. My legs are broken. Alright, let's use the chainsaw for this final one right here. <sighs> Stop fucking hissing. There we go. Alright. Alrighty, righty, righty. That was, that was pretty fun. Uh, I know it's probably a long video, but uh, I definitely was very interested in uh, seeing how some of these weapons worked. I uh, learned some stuff, definitely. Uh, I'm very glad to have had the the pool cue. That was pretty sweet to figure out that it, uh, you can get that sharp attachment on it. I think this thing looks fucking sweet. I'll show it off here again. But I think this thing looks so cool. It's like a makeshift Rambo, Walking Dead kind of weapon. That's so sick. Um, but yeah, so... I'm probably going to do another video going over even more, uh, you know, kind of like unused weapons. Not unused, but, you know, well, yeah, actually, yeah, unused weapons. These were all melee, obviously, aside from the paddle ball, I guess. Um, but in the next one, I'm probably going to go over some, like, you know, actual firearms and probably a little more melee weapons and stuff that uh, people don't really tend to use. So if, uh, if you guys enjoy this, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, whatever the fuck you want to do. And uh, yeah, I, I definitely suggest checking out some of these weapons. Definitely um, lead pipe for sure. The security baton wasn't bad. Um, and the, uh, the pool cue. So there you are. Uh, my name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care.